Hey, what's up, guys? Today is day three for this societal herring run happening, and I have been chasing them for two days. Yesterday, I got about 30 pounds working hard for three hours because I'm still missing the peak run. And today, I finally got some time, and um, although the herring run might be over already because today is actually the fourth day they are coming close to shore for spawning but I'm still gonna go check out because today I should be having enough of time if they are coming I'll definitely catch the run so let's see let's see guys all right guys just a sum up on tonight's herring run so basically there is no herring run Wait on the shore for about one hour, uh, right around the high tide, and turns out nothing happened. The water is so clear, and there's no sea lions, no birds, and seems like the fish is already left. So we got nothing. But now it's still early, so I decided to check out two spots for um, honey mushroom, and they are all. This one is still good. Oh yeah, look at those. This is one. This is a whole bunch. Look at those mushrooms. This is a residential area. And I'm in the parking lot of an apartment. So those mushrooms are uh, safe to take. Let me bring a bag and come back. Ooh, I think we really got some. Oh, here's another bag. Oh, these guys are in very good condition. Oh yeah, here's another. Well, you know what? I just grab them. It's gonna be easy, right? Oh yeah. Get this whole bunch of mushrooms. You got some worms, but it's okay. This is what happens on the mushrooms when they're delicious. Look at our mushrooms. Look at those guys. Oh my god. Right, I'm gonna put them here. My car here. Oh yeah, I'm so glad that I did not get any herring. Otherwise I won't have the time to check out the mushrooms here. Alright guys, let's harvest those. Look at this whole bunch. Oh yeah. Come with me. So I'm too. This whole thing is starting to give the spores, so it might need a little bit of cleaning, but it's perfectly good for eating. Look at 
this bunch. Alright guys, I think we just got enough of mushroom for this season. Let me check out this spot to see if there's some more. Alright, just got another piece very nice and clean in a block away from the location we just collect them. And look at those. Very good quality. No? Very good quality ones. Look at this two sitting aside. Very good quality mushroom, this two. Let's so sure I can use these two mushrooms to talk about how to identify those mushrooms. Um, so you can see these white scales on its top, on its cap. Can you see that? Makes it look uh, fluffy. And then so this is the main um, characteristic to identify them from an alike poisonous mushroom, which is Galerina. But Galerina has um, a very smooth cap, unlike those have those little white scales around. And also if you check out the gill, it has white gill, and when it grows old, uh, it becomes like yellowish or even brownish, but um, you can still see inside is still white. And for the deadly Garena, it's uh, it's all brown uh, since it's young, so almost the same color as the cap. And also, you can see there is a ring right here on its stem, right here. That is also one characteristic for these mushrooms. And yeah, if you find a large blossom of mushrooms looks like this, then it's very safely say that this uh, it's a uh, honey fungus. All right, I'm gonna go back home and trying to possess my mushrooms. And another thing I want to share about honey mushrooms is that usually you can see a lot of them uh, in the urban areas, state parks, uh, residential areas, uh, public parks, riverside, and along the highway, along the main street, like that. And, but you do need to pay extra caution when you're collecting mushrooms in the urban area because some of the mushrooms are accumulating uh, heavy metal um, inside them so you need to be extra caution especially but it actually depends on the species of the mushroom for honey mushrooms it grows on wood so usually we think that that is a pre uh, relatively safe mushrooms but for me I still avoid those honey mushrooms up here so on you know along the highway or the main street where you got a lot of traffic or near the gas station where the 
soil is very likely to be contaminated. So yeah, those are things you want to be extra cautious. I only collect the honey mushrooms in the residential area, like inside the community or in the public park, state park, uh, or the you know recreational area, things like that. So avoid those industrial pollution. Yeah. So that's one thing you want to remember. Look at wild mushrooms. Ooh. A lot of them have those white powder. That is the spore print. So it's uh, totally okay to eat them. Alright, so now the hard work begins. I'm gonna clean out all those mushrooms and uh, ready for dried up. Those mushrooms need to be carefully cleaned. Cut off the root, which is too hard to chew on. Remove the dirt, discard the rotted ones, and then dry it in the dehydrator. And then they'll be good for storing in the fridge for a whole year. Honey mushrooms are superb for making meat stews, giving a very unique mushroomy flavor to the soup. So they're definitely one of my favorite mushrooms. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.